the truth about Toby Amusan and her Jamaican connection. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Now, let me say straight up, Toby Emerson is not Jamaican, does not have Jamaican parents. She's not. But she does have a very, very strong connection. So let's discuss all things Toby Amusan. Now, in case you do not know who she is, or Lua Toby Loba, better known as Toby Amusan, was born on the 23rd of April 1996. She is a Nigerian track and field athlete who specializes in the women's 100 meter hurdles and has also competed as a sprinter. She is the current World Commonwealth and African Champion in the women's 100 meter hurdles as well as the world record holder in all three competitions. For clarity, she's the record holder in World Commonwealth and African Championships. Toby Amosan also became the first Nigerian world champion in any athletics event when she won the 2022 World Championships Women's 100 meter Hurdles gold medal setting the current remarkable world record of 12.12 in the semi-finals. The Nigerian superstar weighs 57 kilograms with dark brown eyes and black hair. Amusan is 25 years of age, born on the 23rd of April 1997. She is under the zodiac sign of Taurus and uh, currently resides in Texas in the United States. Of course, she's nation her nationality is Nigerian and she's of African ethnicity. She's a Christian by religious belief and, and is diminutive, standing at a height of 5 feet 1 inch or in centimeters. 156. The 25 year old has done many firsts, one being she is the first Nigerian athlete to win a Diamond League title as she took the women's 100m hurdles trophy, breaking the then African record held by Gloria Alose. In the process, she retained her title in 2022. Here she is running that remarkable world record run of 12.1 to which she did at the recently held World Championships in Eugene, Oregon in the semi-finals. Amusan returned in the finals to run a remarkable win in 12.06, which just freaked us out here at Peter Lloyd World. Now, as for her deep Jamaican connection, this has to be because of her coach, the young lady who brought her to this great stage of prominence. Her coach is a Jamaican by the name of Lucina Golden Clark, um, who she describes, meaning Toby, as her second mummy. Toby, in a post on her Facebook, wrote, Y'all should meet my lovely coach and second mum, coach Lucina Golden Clark. In quotation, she says, she recruited me while I was back in Nigeria to the University of Texas, El Paso, where I was running 14.2 two seconds. And today is history for both of us. She, of course, she was referencing when she set the world record. Continuing to speak about her coach, Tobi Amosan said she, her coach, was also a world-class hurdler during her active days. Multi-finalist in the Olympics, World Championships and Commonwealth Games representing Jamaica. Here we see the current world record holder Toby Amusan of Nigeria pictured with her Jamaican coach, Lasina Golding Clark. Well, I may tell the Jamaicans with it every way. Hence what we're talking about, her strong Jamaican connection and her second mummy. However, her actual parents are these two beautiful human beings. Now, she was actually born in Ijebu, Odi, Og Ogun State, Nigeria. To Mr. and Mrs. Amusan, who are school teachers, Toby, um, a, as as she is fondly called, is the last child of three siblings. 
Uh, she had her secondary school education at Our Lady of Apostles Secondary School in Ijubi Odi. This is her and her mom. And this is uh, the home in which she grew up in. This is a one bedroom apartment in Origo, Oregon. I hope I'm saying this right, Oregon. Now, as for her senior education, she, of course, as we stated earlier, attended the University of Texas in El Paso. She wrote when she graduated. She wrote, wow, I prayed for this day. The day is finally here. After four years of going to classes, studying late into the night, and maybe even shedding several tears while running track side, it's been a long journey. And all I can say is I have preserved to the finish line. A massive thank you to the Almighty God, my parents, siblings, UTEP Athletics, Adidas, and everyone who has been with me throughout this journey. She, of course, graduated with a Bachelor's of Science. Now, we have to discuss her network. I, I don't know, some of you are uncomfortable with my doing this, but I have to. If I'm giving you a, a breakdown of an athlete, I have to tell you everything about the athlete that we can get our hands on. Okay, so Toby Amasan's... Um, net worth is estimated to be 1.5 to 2.5 million US dollars and I'm going to underline that word estimate because there are some conflicting issues here she basically said um, that she had to borrow 50k a 50k loan to prepare for the 2022 um, world world championships in Eugene Oregon so I'm not sure about that but I do know that since she um, broke the world record and prior to that she has been signing several major deals for instance we have seen her on the cover of major magazines um, across Afri uh, Africa, as you just saw. She is signed to Plug Sports. She is um, a brand ambassador for Premium Trust Bank, as well as brand ambassador for GLO Glow. On, uh, Glow. Uh, of course, you know, she made $100,000 US when she broke that world record in the women's 100 meter hurdles in the semifinals. And when she won, she won an additional $30,000. I think she's probably really worth somewhere between that 1.5 to 2.5 million. In terms of relationships, she is not currently married. We don't know if she's dating. She could be. We do know that one of her very close friends is Nigerian long jumper uh, SC uh, Broom. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly B R U M E. But that's about all we know in terms of her dating status. Uh, so we, we, we know she's not married, but I can't tell you that she's available or she's not available. She could be dating. We don't know. But as I stated, now you know all the fundamentals, the truth about this remarkable athlete who we are huge fans of here at Peter Lloyd. But remember, you know, we were the ones who were telling you, watch out for this girl before World Championships. We were saying, we were saying, we were hoping, of course, that the goal would have gone to us. But I, I kept saying, this young lady, watch out for her. And of course, the obvious connection is her manager, sorry, her coach, I don't know why I keep saying manager, her coach of many, many years who recruited her from Nigeria, brought her to the University of Texas, El Paso, and has coached her to an hour world record and world championships. That is, of course, Lucina Golden Clark. Big up, us yardies were everywhere. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Um, drop some love here for the remarkable Toby Amasan of Nigeria. Remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Bless up!